Dej. I'm one of 10 students studying how bivalves form their shells. This is very important because we don't actually know how that's done. We rely on them for food and our oceans are changing. So to do this, we've gathered 10 students from all over Europe on a European project to investigate this. Why is shellfish important? Why are we studying shellfish in this project? Shellfish aquaculture is actually a quite increasing branch these days. It's a quite healthy way to produce food and especially in terms of an increasing global population, you have to think about a sustainable and ecologically friendly way to produce your food. So I go to the local mussel farms here in Scotland and I try to interact and find out um, what they want from me, so what are the questions I can answer for them. Uh, and for them it's uh, particularly important to see in terms of climate change how could potential increases of temperature, for example, or an increasing pattern of rainfall affect their local production of mussels. Okay, and uh, what's your favourite type of shellfish? I do like mussels. Mussels cooked with garlic? Cooked with garlic and a lot of white wine. Yes, me too. So, Luca, tell us what is happening to our oceans and how will that affect shellfish in the future? So, we know that our oceans are changing, so water are becoming warmer and more acidic and a process called ocean acidification. And all the variation of these environmental parameters, such as temperature, salinity, pH, is going to affect the calcified marine organisms, such as shellfish, and specifically bivalves, like mussels, scallops, oysters, the commercially important species. But we also know that historically, the climate dramatically changed. So there is like an increasing interest in knowing how these species will react to future climate changes. And this is recorded in fossils. And looking how these fossils change in evolutionary time scale will give us further insight sites and increase our ability to predict the future effect of ocean acidification on the shells. Why do we study the shells? Why is it important? Um, the shell basically protects the soft tissue animal inside from outside damage such as predators or mechanical damage and if the oceans are changing then the shell is vulnerable, the animal inside is also vulnerable. And how do you study the shells and shell building? Uh, we're looking at the mantle tissue inside the shell that creates uh, the shell and we're trying to uh, look at the genetics of the mantle tissue to understand what's involved um, in the shell creation process and we're also looking at um, calcium ion channels to understand how the calcium goes in and out of the mantle tissue. So now that you've met some of us and seen some of the work that we've been doing, I hope that you'll follow some of our research that we'll be doing over the next few years by following us on our website and Twitter. I'm off to the pub now. <laughs>